Hey, it's Rataki, and welcome back to another video. Uh, just recently, it was about 12 hours ago at the time of this recording, but Unreal just launched a sample project showing off the motion matching animations. So we'll jump right into the obstacle course that they have. It's very fluid, pretty smooth. Uh, there's climbing, mantling, the jump, land animations. There's very... What do you call this? Like inertia, maybe? That's the only word I can come up with. Or like a side to side. They have quite a few different animations. Like different speeds. Let's see if I can get through the rest of this. The last part of this course is pretty tough. I will not lie about that part. There we go. Oh. A box for the widget view controls here's the widget what it looks like um character override i'm not gonna lie i don't know what any of this means so i'm going to have to really look into it but for those who do know there's that screen Jump right in view controls i guess these are just controls for it it looks like they don't offer crouch or sprinting yet. Let's walk. Control. Yeah, so very smooth. Slow down. There's a lot of animations that go in between them. Face bar. Middle mouse button. Toggle rotation mode. I'm not really sure that what that is. Oh, it's a lock on. So we'll just be facing wherever your mouse is. And then focus. It zooms in. But AAA graphics for free. You can't really ask for much else. I was, I'm was i creating a game right now. So I might have to incorporate this and learn how to use it. Let's jump into the blueprints before we get too ahead of ourselves. Let me make it easier to read as well. Oh, I forgot to look at the README. I should probably look at that. Welcome to the animation sample. Showcase, show various gameplay animation features and assets for users to deconstruct and learn from. This is very, very useful, especially with the introduction of the motion matching. Uh, been around... Our new motion matching tool set showing the basic third person character locomotion. If you want to use a capsule driven movement model. They're going to be coming out with updates and improvements on this, which is nice. So it's a living project. Main features coming soon sprinting, crouching, warping, retargeting, network replication compatibility. So you can only use these in single player games at the moment from the looks of network replication. Uh, don't take my word for it. Let me know if I am wrong in the comments. It would be very nice to know for sure. Known issues. Tight timeline. Experimental. Uh, looks like the character rotation I was trying to figure out is experimental called the root bone which they will improve on steering i'll have to look into what that is turning in place while aiming the, the character does not always keep up so it looks like the lower mouse sensitivity the better but placement is not set up. Walk set is missing their pivot shapes. But the turning and oh refacing. Turning and refacing has issues with the strafe. So when the strafe starts, it looks like they have a refacing issue. Let me see if we can find that issue.
Maybe I'm just a bad game developer because I don't see any issues with it. Oh, I think there was one right there. Definitely doesn't look as smooth as all the other animations. That's probably the issue they're having. But it's, I don't think it's too bad. Alright. Default trajectory generation while on slopes has a bug. It could cause selection issues. So maybe the it'll select the wrong animation on slopes. Trajectory collision. I will say, at least with the trajectory collision, definitely seems like it's has some way of sensing what's on the box these boxes let me show an example here because what i wanted to do was to just jump straight over the like the half walls but when you get too close it just eats your jump and makes you mantle like you have to be from back pretty far to just jump It is, it does seem there for a reason, because it looks like as soon as your jump can make it, yeah, just after your jump can make it, it'll force you into mantling. Let me try this one more time. Yeah, and then there's like a control buffer. Well, it's currently acceleration and movement model is not replicated. Branding us from properly showcasing network replication for this release. And the replication is for multiplayer, I believe. So it looks like sticking to single player games at the moment. If you just go to the marketplace. Yeah, in the news, it's right there. It'll pull up like in the like the, your web browser. So what I did was just look up animation sample project in the marketplace. So I could just download it without going through the hassle of the browser. Yeah, it would be right there. First one. 500 plus game ready animations. Simple traversal system, blend ins, blend outs. So there's their capsule locomotion again. Motion matching. New tools, techniques, and animations. It looks like it. They only have the basics for now. If you're looking to incorporate this in a multiplayer game, it wouldn't hurt to learn how to do it before they release the the network for it. However, you want to keep in mind that the license is only for use with Unreal Engine products. I have the documentation, and that is about it. There's any more loop notifies, lots of notifies, data, just their strafe, go straight up. That's probably why they're having issues. Um, little prototypes. Oh, it looks like they have metahumans if you want to replace the mannequin and all their widgets. Thank you for watching. This is a very promising, I guess I could say project. AAA animations for free. You can't really ask for more. Multiplayer versions coming for it soon. So keep up to date on that. I do have a community discord. If you'd like to join that, if you need help with anything I can help with, get to know other people in the community, go ahead and join that. There will be a link in the description down below and I'll see you in the next one.